Hi, it's Rob from RobNoFoto.com with a quick look at Ilford XP2 400. Um, one of the range of black and white emulsions from the Ilford photo uh, film and photo paper manufacturers. Um, they were kind enough to send me a selection of their black and white films to try out, and I'm starting off with the XP2 400, which I've, um, I've yeah, I, I have used before, um, but I've put a roll through the Olympus Trip 35 because I thought they uh, they go quite well together. Um, being as the Olympus Trip is all about ease of use, you know, you don't need a battery in it. Uh, it's got zone focusing. It's fully automatic exposure. You can sl slip it in your pocket. It's nice and lightweight. Um, and uh, it takes nice sharp photos most of the time if you <laughs> if you manage to get the focus ring um, in the right place um, and obviously at the end when you're watching the pictures remember that one out of focus shot is a mistake but several out of focus shots is a style so I'll argue that my out of focus shots are more of a style so Ilford XB2 Super um, is a 400 speed film so it's quite high um, the big difference with XP2 Super is that it's a C41 process film. So what does that mean? Well, these other ones here, Pan F, HP5 and Delta 3200, are traditional black and white emulsions, traditional black and white films. So you would tend to develop these at home or in a specific black and white lab, which is a bit of a pain if you haven't got a lab nearby or you haven't got the chemicals. XB2 Super though is C41, which means that you can take it into your local photo lab that does colour photos, so that might be you know, your Walmart or your Boots or, or wherever, and they can put that through the same machine that does colour photos and you'll get black and white prints as well. So for example, today, for this one, I went down to Boots and I got them to do a photo CD and I got these great um, black and white prints out, which I will put a few on the end of the uh, video as well so you can look at them. Um, and what you tend to find is that XB2 is actually a really nice black and white film to use. It's quite finely grained, it's got a reasonable amount of contrast, um, and it's quite forgiving in terms of uh, exposure. And it's a, a very simple way that you can get into black and white photography um, without having to invest in all the chemicals or shipping your stuff to expensive labs. I mean, for example, the, the, the roll I got developed today, I took to Boots, I put it in on an hour service, and I think for six pounds, no, seven pounds, I got um, 24 six by four prints um, and the CD as well. Um, and of course, the developing. So how easy could that be? So if you want to try out black and white film on the cheap and um, without having to invest in all the black and white chemicals and all the stuff that goes to it, get yourself a cheap little black and white camera Cheap little, <laughs> cheap little 35mm camera, doesn't matter if it's black and white, obviously with colour, and get some Ilford XP2 Super 400 black and white film. It's easy to use and it's easy to develop and get prints from. There we go. My name's Rob from RobNoFoto.com. Thanks for watching.